Hey everybody, it's me Henry. Today we're gonna talk about understanding the Pareto principle, the so-called the 80-20 rule. Let's get started. When you get into the office in the morning, what's the first thing you do? Most people grab their caffeine the beverage of choice, check their email, and prioritize their tasks for the day. But what techniques do you use to identify what needs to get done first? One common technique is called the Pareto principle also known as the 80-20 rule. This technique can help you to determine and prioritize your highest impact tasks, increasing your productivity throughout the day. So what is the Pareto Principle? The Pareto Principle states that for many outcomes, roughly 80% of the consequences come from the 20% of the causes. In other words, a small percentage of causes have an outsized effect. This concept is important to understand because it can help you to identify which initiatives to prioritize so you can make the most impact. And where does the Pareto Principle come from? This phenomenon also goes by a couple of different names. Pareto Principle, the 80-20 rule which is the most common, lot of wider view, principle of fact of sparse city. The 80-20 rule is not a formal mathematical equation but more generalized phenomena that can be observed in economics, business, time management, and even sports. General examples of Pareto principles such as 20% of the plant contains 80% of the fruits. 80% of the company's profits come from 20% of the customers. 20% of the player result in 80% of the points scored. So up next, let's talk about how to use the 80-20 rule. While the 80-20 rule applies to almost every industry, the Pareto principle is commonly used in business and economics. This is because the 80-20 rule is helpful in determining where you can focus your efforts to maximize your output. The basics of Pareto principle states that 80% of the results come from the 20% of the actions. If you have any kind of work that can segment it into smaller portions, the Pareto Principle can help you to identify what part of the work is the most influential. And here are a few examples of how to use the two in practice. Now first, the productivity. You can use the 80-20 rule to prioritize the tasks that you need to get done during the day. The idea is that out of an entire task list, completing the 20% of those tasks would result in 80% of the impact that you can create for the day. So in order to get the most impact done, identify which tasks have the most impact for your team and focus on those for the day. To do this, list out all the things that you need to get done that day. Then identify which of those tasks have the highest impact. Do any of your tasks involve collaborating with the teammates? Are there any tasks on your plate that are blocking projects from moving forward? These tasks may be simple in execution, but they can make a large impact to the rest of the team by allowing the process to keep flowing. In decision making, the Pareto Principle can help you to make the best decision during the problem-solving process. When there are many different causes to one problem, the Pareto Principle can help you to prioritize the solutions. And here are the few steps on how this works. First, identify the problems that your team is experiencing. There are the problems that you are trying to find a solution to within this decision-making process. Number two, identify the causes of these problems. Using a tool like Find Wise Process, find all those causes of the problem that you are trying to solve. Number three, categorize a problem into similar groups. If some of the causes of the problems you are trying to solve can fall into similar categories, use this as an opportunity to group them together. This can help you to decide if one solution can resolve multiple issues. Number four, assign a value to each of these problems based on the impact to the business. The value can be as simple as a number between 1 to 10 or actual monetary value to indicate the importance. Number five, develop a plan to focus on the top 20% of the problems that impact the business. The idea is that one solution can resolve multiple problems. 
based on the values you assign to each problem. Calculate which one are in the top 20%. Once you've identified the main problem, develop a plan to create a solution that can result in 80% of the results using the problem solving strategies. And now let me give you an example how to use the 80-20 rule for decision making. Imagine you work at an e-commerce company. You take a look at a hundred of your most recent customer service complaints and notice that the bulk of the complaints come from the fact that the customers are receiving damaged products. And your team calculates the amount of the refund given for your damaged products and find that approximately 80% of the refunds given were for the damaged products. And your company wants to avoid processing refunds for broken products. So you make this problem a priority solution. And your team decide to update packaging to protect the products during shipping which resolve the issue of customer receiving the damaged products. And next, we're gonna talk about the advantages of using the Pareto Principle. The biggest advantage of using the Pareto Principle is that you can create the maximum amount of impact with the least amount of work. This can allow your team to work more efficiently and stay focused on the specific initiative. The 80-20 rule can help your metrics increase in less time simply by prioritizing initiatives in the right order. And other benefits of using the Pareto principles such as clear priorities both for you and your team, increased daily productivity, ability to portion your work into manageable segments, and more focused strategy. And we have the disadvantages of using the 80-20 rule as well. There's common misinterpretation of the Pareto principle that with the 20% of the efforts, you can achieve the 80% of the result. This is not necessarily the case. The 20 and 80, the numbers don't refer to the amount of effort you're putting in, but the causes and consequences you're working on. The goal is not to minimize the amount of effort but to focus your effort on a specific portion of the work to create a bigger impact. You still have to put 100% of the efforts into the 20% of focus to achieve the 80% of the results. Another downside of the 80-20 rule is that sometimes team members can get too focused and lose sight on other tasks. If you only focus on important tasks and put aside the less important tasks like email and other correspondence, things can get lost. The challenge is finding the right balance of using the 80-20 rule and getting through the rest of your tasks, even if they don't result in 80% of the results. To combat this, you can use the technique like time boxing or the getting things done the so-called GDT method. That's all for the sharing for today. If you find value and like this video, please consider to smash the subscribe button and turn on all your notifications so that you're not gonna miss out any videos just like this from this channel. And most importantly, leave your comments below. Let me know what you think. I would love to read your comment and reply to your comment. And I hope to see you in the next video.